Hey guys and gals, erectile dysfunction. So in 1994, there was a study of 40 men, uh, 20 of them, uh, random, a double randomized, uh, double blind study that is, a, of 40 men, 20 of them with a placebo, and 20 of them that were given 50 milligrams of DHEA for erectile dysfunction. Um, in the international questionnaire, 15 question questionnaire, of the 20 men that uh, took the DHEA, they had in all five categories in this 15 questions, they had significant improvement. Um, so that's pretty key, that's just DHEA. It's incredibly safe, it's a primary uh, main hormone that is uh, produced in the adrenals. And guys, keep in mind, I've done a lot of videos about statins and cholesterol, and most of that's a bunch of garbage when you talk about cholesterol. Uh, always consider reading uh, The Cholesterol Lies by Ufer Abenskoff or Dr. Uh, David Brownstein's book, Statin Lies, or Statin Disaster, excuse me, um, and really get to know what's going on with cholesterol. Men and women, everybody's shutting off their liver producing cholesterol, and all of a sudden, you know, the brain that's made out of cholesterol and all the cells that uh, require cholesterol and the hormones that are absolutely require um, cholesterol is all gone awry and people wonder why. Well, you know, there should be no surprise that your hormones, including the DHA, which is master hormone, isn't uh, in proper order. And they, it declines over the years, but is it necessary? I mean, it, it has a lot to do with uh, just overall health. Um, again, talk about the Sardinians. They're, they're, they're happily going at it in their 90s, so uh, DHEA seems to work just fine for them. Uh, and I doubt any of them are on statins. So anyway, so that's, that's the key there. Uh, I'll leave a link in the bottom uh, in the description. And also, another study I wanted to cite right here, um, the, it says that the first clinical effects of taking 50 milligrams, I believe it was in this, the second study, which I'll leave a link to, now within eight weeks and within 16 weeks, a remarkable ability to have consistent and maintain erections was, uh, was thereafter. That's, that's a pretty big deal. So by summer, you know, if everything's uh, working, right, working right, um, there's a lot of hopeful uh, thought for that for a lot of you guys that are men and women that are suffering that uh, issue. It just shouldn't be. And, uh, you know, due to age, nah. It's due to health, and it's due to things that probably are obviously missing. And again, uh, think about cholesterol when you, when you think about that and just general, general good health. So when you... Uh, uh, Get out there and, and talk to your doctor, talk to your naturally uh, oriented doctor about uh, DHEA and a couple other things like zinc and magnesium and another real good one is uh, pycnogenol, pycnogenol and um, L-arginine and uh, see what you can do. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt and these are incredibly safe things like I've always said and repeat uh, from Dr. Andrew Saul, out of trillions of supplements served in the last 30 years around the world, nobody's been proven killed by a single supplement. So anyway, so that said, talk to your doctor and, and do what you can. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.